on the banks of the Mississippi River, home to the king of rock and roll and also the Memphis Tigers, where the fans have moved the party from Beale Street and are ready for kickoff. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Arkansas State Red Wolves taking on a team from the AAC, the Memphis Tigers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Red Wolves will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Memphis offense takes the field for the first time today. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Pollock. And you got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking to throw a 10 again. He's got his man. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. Memphis coming to the line with a fresh set of downs. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Got a man. It's Taylor. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. And the Tigers are rolling down the field. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. He wants to throw. Makes the catch. It's Taylor. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. Right. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Anderson with the carry. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Cross. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. So Arkansas State's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. 
Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys of the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized that have to play well for their team to succeed. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting him the play. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon. You're seeing that here early. Back to throw. It's Rayner trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You know, when you go down personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game, so it's harder to throw the quarterback there's just not as many windows you've got more guys in coverage you're expecting to at least have a little bit more time but your offensive line man they just couldn't hold up and the red wolves will send out the punt unit getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter on the return it's straight and they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Listen, you, you gotta be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next one. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. That's the end of the quarter, and Memphis has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. looking for a physical attack from the gun. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. The Tigers have enough for the first down. All right, defense. It ain't working. Right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense. Right? They've got it inside the 30 at the 28. First down. To throw. It's Hennigan. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Good job on defense getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Here we go. He's looking to throw. Complete to the right. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger. 
this offense right now, they are doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the move from inside is five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay it. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. And now on second down for this offense. Wants to throw. It's Rayner. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's throwing the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Working the middle. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win and gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Jackson. Dragged down at the 46 after a pickup of five and the first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field and you saw that right there. The give on the inside. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. The receiver looks it in. It's complete. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking downfield, it's Rayner. He's got it. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him, so a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. Release to the back. That's caught. It's cross. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Red Wolves come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. They're bringing heat. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. 
And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And the Red Wolves want to pick up the tempo. On third and forever, let's test his arm strength. Just a short pass to the tight end. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to get the three. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. He got it. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Memphis ready to kick it deep and get the second half going. He'll bring it out. It's Croft. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. I agree, so it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. Oh, look out! The 30! The 10! Touchdown, Red Bull! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. They'll try to get the two-point conversion here and make it a three-point game. Looking downfield, it's Rayner getting some heat. He makes the catch for the two, and now they're down by just a field goal. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels, and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now, because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Fires to the wide out. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Right down the middle. He's got an open man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, 
Who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm fine. Yeah. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Okay, this Memphis offense going to work again on first down. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Finds a spot in the middle. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field with passing. Looking to throw, it's Hennigan. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area you're going to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping him. A couple more downs here to stay aggressive. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great stop by this defense. Second down and goal. Getting the lost yardage play. Now putting your defense in a better position for third down. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Couldn't find anybody open, just threw it away, and that's a smart move. You want to avoid the turnover, especially in the red zone. It'll be fourth down. So they'll send out the field goal unit. And it's no good. He missed it. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. Uh, and you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. After the run, second and medium. From the gun, running back gets to give. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Ready, cheer. Ready, cheer. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Finds his man, it's Crump. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Offense gets set for second down. Off the play fake. Makes his connection. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. The Red Wolves come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide out in motion. The run from the shotgun. Can't get him to the ground. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Memphis has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. 
one more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. And this one will be stopped for no gain. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes in here. Gives it to the back on the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about this defense rising to the challenge? Focal point number one, stopping the great running back. Check. How do we do it? Being physical at the line of scrimmage. Getting off blocks. Not missing a lot of tackles. They have checked all of those boxes and shut this dude down. Personal foul. foul. Roughing the kicker. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And the Red Wolves are on the move. From the gut, the running back looking for room. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when you decide to run. Man, you got to get hats around this dude. He finds the crease. He's down to the 27. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. To the air. It's Rayner. Gets it out quickly. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone, they're like, no, 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 we're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's cross. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. If you're not throwing to the sideline and you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the ball. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back line. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that was a big play. They say games come down to just a handful of plays, and with a chance to tie the game here in the fourth quarter, they missed the opportunity clanking that one off the post. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run off the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. Yeah, they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. A handoff. Keep working on that clock. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Movement here from the tight end. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. On the 
lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Motion from the offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. I mean, you put the ball in your best player's hands. Like, late in the game, you've got to trust your guy. I'm interested to see what they do here on third down coming up. Let's call it third and interesting, right? Top clock ticking down. Do I trust my QB to throw the football? I've got the lead. I want that clock to continue to roll. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Memphis getting set to snap it on first and ten. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much. So you take the field against your rival, and you're able to put forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team and bragging rights now for a while. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.